Hello flippers, I'm Rexburg and today I'd like to show you how easy it is to add your own house flipper item to Steam Workshop using our new tool called Item Exporter. Steam Workshop support for house flipper has been around for some time now and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how simple it is for you to add custom items to the game. Just watching this video may be enough for you to work with your items, but if at any time you feel like you need more details, all the steps are also written down and available online. The link to this documentation can be found in the description below. To start off, here is some required software you will need on your computer. If you plan to create 3D models on your computer, then the first thing to have is your favorite 3D modeling program. Any program that can export models to FBX or OBJ formats should be good. These file formats are currently supported by our exporter. One such program is Blender, which is quite popular. One important thing to keep in mind when you work on your model is the pivot. If the item will be placed on the ground, the pivot should be placed on the ground as well. If the item will be hanging on the wall, the pivot should be on the back side of your item. Also, pivots define the axis of rotation for the item, so it is way better not to place them off to the side. The next thing you need to set up is our item exporter tool. It is a Unity project that has become a part of House Flipper and can be accessed through Steam. In order to see it, just log into your Steam account that has House Flipper and just navigate your Steam library for tools. Now look for House Flipper Workshop Exporter. After that, select it and launch it. Shortly after, a window will show up revealing the location of the Unity project on your computer. This project needs to be opened with Unity, so naturally you will have to install it. We recommend using Unity Hub, which makes it easier to download Unity versions and manage your projects. So instead of downloading one of many Unity versions, just install Unity Hub first. After accessing the Unity website, just click on Download Unity Hub and install it anywhere on your computer. After you do that, find the Unity version 2019 49F1 on the Unity website and click the Unity Hub button next to it in the browser. The Unity Hub that you just installed on your computer should start downloading and installing the correct Unity version for you. With the Unity Hub and the right version of Unity installed, just copy the project location to your clipboard. Run Unity Hub and click the Add button. To add this existing project, just paste its address in the navigation bar and confirm it by clicking Select Folder. This is basically the end of the setup. After verifying one last time that you have the correct Unity version, you can now run the project by clicking its name in the Unity Hub. When the project opens, you'll be greeted with a welcome pop-up. It is a sign that everything up to this point worked as intended. Now, if you don't see the House Flipper Item Exporter window anywhere, you can press the Open Item Exporter window and it should show up. This Item Exporter window is where you put in all the information necessary for your model to become a Steam Workshop mod. But first, you need to import your model into the project. To do this, click on Assets, then on the top bar choose Import New Asset and navigate to your OBJ or FBX file. Now select it and click Import. The model is now ready to be used in the project. Before we continue though, if you don't see your scene, you might want to dock the House Flipper Item Exporter window so it is easier to see the scene view, which will come into play very soon. Finally, we can get to the most important part. To start adding a new item, click on Create New Item. A window will pop up, prompting you to select a model you wish to upload on Steam. If you imported our model properly, it should be on this list. After clicking on it, you can notice two things. One is that as soon as you pick a model from the list, it is immediately added to the scene. It also can be found in its hierarchy. The other thing is that the export item window now has numerous options allowing you to customize the item that you're working on. To start with the configuration, first up you have to deal with the thumbnail. This will be the image shown in the in-game shop. It is also the default Steam Workshop picture of your mod. Later on you will be able to add other pictures to your items page on Steam Workshop if you wish to do so. To add the thumbnail you need to position the camera first. You can navigate around the item in the scene view and when you're happy with its position just hit the Create Thumbnail from Current Scene View button to have it generated based on what you see in the scene view. You can also create the thumbnail automatically or just import your own thumbnail in a PNG format. It needs to be exactly 256 by 256 pixels though. Below we can adjust other basic properties of our item. 
select if it will be an item placed on the ground or hung on the walls, and if other items can be placed on it. If our item is something small that can be placed on the floor, we can also make it possible to place it on shelves or other furniture by checking the respective checkbox. It is important to define a category for our item. It determines where in the shop the player will see the item on his tablet. Each item must have exactly one category. For example, the chair in the video belongs to the dining room category. You can also add tags to your item. Tags are not required, however they define an item's behavior in the game, having a heavy influence on how the in-game house buyers see them, so it is very good to have them. Each item can have multiple tags. Below you can define your item's name. It will be both the name of the Steam Workshop mod as well as the item name in the in-game tablet. Now it's time to define a price for your item in one of the currencies chosen from the drop-down list. Keep in mind though, it will be recalculated automatically for players playing with different currencies. Now you should define who will be able to see your mod. By default, each published mod is public, but you can publish mods that only you can see for test purposes. Visibility can be changed later on with subsequent updates or from the Steam Workshop itself. It is useful to provide a description of your item in at least one language so that other players know what your mod is about before they subscribe to it. Item descriptions can later be changed on Steam Workshop easily. Now if you're updating your item via the Update Existing Item button, you could have some notes that you wanted to include in the change log to let people know what exactly changed. In this case we went with the Create a new item button, so it is not that important. Ok flippers, we're almost ready. To make the item behave properly in the game, you need to add some colliders to it. Now this needs to be done outside of the item exporter tool. In order to do that, you need to switch to the inspector window or open it if you don't have it open already. If your model is not active for some reason, you can just find your model in the scene hierarchy and click it to make it active. Proceed by clicking on add component and search for a box collider option. If you do that, a collider will be automatically fitted to your model in the scene view. Collider size can be adjusted, but this automatic fit is often more than enough. Each item must have at least one collider, however, you can add more if you want to. With all that done, you can finally upload your item. Before doing so, just make sure that your Steam is running. If everything is fine, you should see your Steam account name in the item exporter, right here. When you're ready, just hit upload and your item should be available on the Steam Workshop in a couple of minutes. To see the given item in the game, you need to subscribe to the respective mod in the workshop. Subscribed items are loaded when you start the game and can be accessed via the in-game shop. The item file is also saved on your disk. All of the uploaded items have their files stored on your computer. You can always view their location by clicking Browse File Directory. And if you want to update one of your items, you can do so by clicking the Update Item button and selecting the given item file. This file has all the information of your existing item, including item Steam Workshop ID, which allows the item exporter tool to publish all the changes directly to your existing Steam Workshop mod instead of creating a new one. That's all guys, uh, thanks for watching, we hope you have fun with the tool and we hope that you bring lots of great and creative content to House Flipper. Cheers!